you ready for your business to take off? Gina Schreck is helping business owners and entrepreneurs get on board with their marketing and business growth here at DIY Social. Hi, Gina Schreck, and I am here from Social Connects and DIY Social, and I want to talk about Facebook because that's what you were interested in, and I want to be able to help you understand, number one, um, how to set up your Facebook page and why you want to set it up a specific way um, using a business page, but then also, how do you get people to come and join you on this business page because it is harder than using your personal Facebook profile. So a couple things to note, there's three kind of sections or types of Facebook pages. And really there's a profile, a page, and a group. So your profile is about you, it's your person, it's your name. Then there's a page and that is your business. And Facebook does not um, like when people use their business page or use their personal profile as a business page. So there's a profile, a business page, and then there's Facebook groups, which Facebook groups are great for businesses and they're great for personal use. So it might be for family, it might be for family or a school class reunions. A group could be for special interests that you have. You've probably been invited to a lot of them. I've been invited to so many groups and some of them are very random and I don't know why they invite me but I'm assuming they just click invite everybody. Um, and so a lot of times you have to get out of groups, you have to leave a group because you end up getting in all these groups and notifications are flying everywhere. But we're not going to talk about groups right now because that is a whole nother subject and there's a great way to use groups in marketing, but I'll do a special video just on that. But I'm going to unpack something in this case right here. We're going to take that one out and talk about how you set up and why you use a business page over a personal profile. So a personal profile is great for your personal and professional networking. So you can still use it very professionally and you can um, connect with people that you meet at business events and then you want to invite people to your business page because if you're sharing business content on a personal profile number one um, your family and friends are going to hate you <laughs> number two um, Facebook could actually shut down your business page or your personal profile they'll shut it down if number one someone turns you in and says you know they don't like the fact that you're using it as business or if Facebook um, finds out and there's ways that they find out if you're if you're sharing um, too much business content and and running it you know, as a business a lot of times people use a personal profile and they put their business name but they've set it up where you have to have a friend you know you have to friend someone instead of a business page you like the business you follow their updates and so there's a big difference your business page can run ads your personal profile cannot. Your business page also gets analytics, so you can see the demographics of the people you're connecting with, so there's some real great benefits. The downside to a business page, which we all know, is it's really hard to get people to come over and like that page, because you can't go out and proactively connect with them, kind of. So here's my ninja trick. I hate the word ninja all the time, but it is kind of a secret. Maybe it's a spy trick. Um, we call it walking about. And walking about um, really is a way for you if, you, if you had a brick and mortar store, and some of you might, you might um, picture this like you're walking down the street in the morning and you're saying good morning to people and you're greeting people and you're shaking hands and getting to know them and you're listening to the conversations going on and you're joining the community conversations. So on Facebook, walking about is the same concept. You're going to walk about on other people's business pages. So it's good to start out with pages like the Chamber of Commerce, or maybe there's some networking groups that you belong to. You're not there to spam them. You're not there to just jump in there and say, hey, come and join on my Facebook page and put a link to your page. Remember, you're walking about in the community and you're commenting and liking their, their content. Not only can you like or comment on their content, but you can also like and comment on other people's comments. So let's say that Susie commented on someone's business page, and maybe it's the chamber page in your neighborhood, and Susie comments on an event that's coming up at the chamber, and she says, oh, I'm really looking forward to this event, or I went last year and loved it, met so many great people. You can like Susie's comment, and then you can comment under hers and say, 
um, you know, I'll be there. I'm looking forward to meeting you. Something that's going to leave a notification for Susie. So not only does the chamber see a notification that you commented, but Susie gets a notification saying you commented on her on her post. And so she's going to say, who is this? What is this business? And she'll come over and take a look at your business, most likely. And if you've got interesting and helpful content, chances are Susie will like your page. Chances are greater that Susie's going to like your page than if you didn't walk about. So make it a habit every day to walk about in your virtual community and say hi to people. Thank people for sharing that content that they're sharing. Um, let them know that it's interesting. Chances are they'll reciprocate and they'll come over and check out your page. So that is our best tip out there. It doesn't cost you a dime, but it does cost you some time. So get out there and walk about on that Facebook page and make sure you also are set up correctly so you don't get shut down. I was going to say put in the slammer. You're going to be put in the birdcage. Um, that's going to be our penalty box right here. So make sure you're doing it the right way and you will gain a lot of benefits. So tomorrow I'm going to share another tip about Facebook groups. You'll want to stay tuned. Look for that. I'll send it in your email. Look for it on our Facebook page. I look forward to connecting with you. You can go to DIY.social or find us on any social media channel at Social Connects. That's our, our umbrella company at Social Connects. Or you can connect with me personally, Gina Shrek. And that's pretty much everywhere. Everywhere you want to be. So I look forward to connecting.